What's good everyone, it's your boy Visual, back again with another sneaker video. Alright guys, so you guys are probably ready to see the title, you see the thumbnail, um, I am back with another Adidas NMD of course. Alright, so let's just start with the box, of course we have the uh, black, all blacked out NMD box, has the Adidas logo right here, if you can see that, three stripes down, um, you know, that whole NMD thing going back here. And of course, let's just go ahead and look at the box tag real quick. We have the NMD R2 Prime Knit. Um, so I guess that's the big difference from my past NMD videos. All of them were like the R1s, but we finally got our hands on a pair of R2s. So let's open this up. So we open it up, of course, tissue paper. And boom, there's the sneakers right here. So fire, man. I've been waiting on this pair. When I first seen it, I really wanted it, but you know, 170 is a little bit steep. I'm sure I would have got it, but the only reason I bought these was Adidas was having like a crazy ass sale. Well, not a crazy ass sale, but 30% off, and they surprisingly um, applied to these NMDs. Oh, let me get the other ones. They applied to these NMDs, so usually these are 170. I got it for about, I think, 126. And, you know, Adidas got that expedited shipping, so I got these like in two days. So these are the sneakers right here. Now let's get into the details. All right, guys, so this being an NMD, you have the original, like, NMD silhouette. This being the R2, the boost is different because they definitely added a lot more boost compared to the R1s. For example, the R1s right here, I mean, yeah, the, the boost, like, you know how you can't really feel like the boost in um, as much in the NMDs as you can in the Ultra Boost? Well, these, I mean, yeah, you can, you can definitely feel a difference in here. So they added a lot more boost in here. They took out that little pod that's usually right here, or whatever you call that, that brick. Um, took that out um, it is composed of an all prime knit upper of course and they have that same design that they that they uh, used on I actually have the pair of the XR ones um, they used have like that it's the prime knit it's the prime knit uh, all over with like this little black stitching in like uh, all over I don't even know what that's called but yeah it's just like the, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. The lacing system on this, you know how the XR, not the XR, I can't saying XR ones, the R ones have like the little cage on the sides right here. Well, this one kind of has like that Yeezy type or the Ultra Boost uncaged uh, lace system where it doesn't really have like a, uh, a little cage holding it. It's kind of just like into the prime knit. So I like that they did it with these R2s right here. And I'm pretty sure it's only for the prime knit, of course, because uh, if we look on this one, whoa, okay. So these are like the R1 prime knits, how they have the um, little cage right here. And then the R2s, of course, don't have that. So I kind of like that they did that instead. All right, on the inside of the shoe, um, they did add that brick that is usually right here. I mean, they're both, they're actually on both sides on the R1, but on the R2, it's just on the inside. Personally, I think they could have done without it. It would have made it look better. I'm still gonna wear the shoe, of course, but I just think if they didn't put this there, it would have still been a dope shoe. But uh, that being an R, um, an NMD, I'm pretty sure that's why they put it in there. We got the back, we kind of have like this suede-like material. Uh, that's kind of holding the back uh, tab, pull tab on the back. It's kind of suede right there. And then, yeah, and then you got the three stripes logo in the all red. Uh, I don't know what material this is. I always say it's like a uh, silk satin type feel for that right here. So, yeah. The sole, the sole it's kind of like a uh, milky translu translucent sole. And um, I'm pretty, it looks like the kind of sole that would like yellow over time. I know this is not like a Jordan, but you know, these kind of soles, they just seem like once they, uh, uh, I guess, uh, 
what is the word I'm trying to say? These soles just look like they're gonna yellow over time, you know, with the more wear that you get out of it. Again, if it were me, I probably would have just made this black and then they would have been good. Maybe a gum bottom, but like, I mean, this is cool too. I just think black would have been, uh, would have had a better fit with this shoe. All right guys, so I'm gonna hit you with that on foot real quick. Alright guys, so those are the sneakers right there. Um, I actually did a quick lace swap right here um, because I pretty much just want to test it out. Um, usually I don't really like when it comes with just like the matching lace and it's kind of more of a brighter red than the actual prime knit. Or they may be the same tone, but I mean, I, to me it looks like a brighter red right there. Um, I just switched that with some black um, laces right here. I think I'm gonna roll this way. It, it just looks better to me, in my opinion. It may look a little sloppy, but I mean, shit. Rock it how you like it, right? This is the review on the NMD R2 Prime Knit. So in the comment section below, tell me what you think about this shoe. Would you cop it? Would you drop it? Um, overall dope shoe, as I say, always. And really happy to add this to my collection. It's gonna get a lot of wear. Definitely that summer type vibe. And yeah, these are the sneakers, hella dope. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's your boy Visual, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and do me one favor, please, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for weekly videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.